wouldn't call the monsters in today's movie cowards, but they are pretty spineless. Welcome to Sick Flicks, where I take a deep dive into the cinematic sewer to help you embrace your inner gore geek. I'm Mike Bracken, aka The Horror Geek, and today we're tackling Juan Peeker Simone's wildly entertaining B-movie, Slugs. Released in 1988, Slugs features Hallmark movie caliber performances, countless shots of random driving, and murderous invertebrates. In other words, it's basically perfect for this show. Brought to you by J.P. Simone, who also gave us the classic slasher movie pieces, this one has a little something for everyone. But is Slugs splattery? Let's get to the gore and find out. Oh, and before we get started, today's video is sponsored by patrons Matt Florent, Michael Vatza, and John Weatherby. Hope I didn't butcher your names. If you'd like to help sponsor an episode, sign up for my Patreon. Link's in the description and pinned comment below. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's get bloody. We fade in on the New World Pictures logo, so you know we're in for a treat. And then we jump over to the lake where this lady's fishing for some action. But her boyfriend is more interested in bass than ass. It's cold. Besides, we passed a sewer outlet in the way here. Undaunted, she's taking her clothes off. And he's apparently not into ladies because he jumps overboard. Hey! Or maybe the slugs grabbed him. I mean, that doesn't seem plausible, but this is a J.P. Simone film, so let's not waste a lot of energy worrying about logic. Oh yeah, the slugs grabbed him. And judging by this blood fountain, he's got a wicked case of salmonella. And then we hop into the credits, which look like a wacky new crazy straw design. I appreciate them letting me know this is Slugs the Movie and not Slugs the Collectible Card Game or Slugs the Sandwich. Oh look, it's a Dister production. I think they just accidentally misspelled disaster. And it's always a good sign when all of the main cast are people I've never heard of. Wait, how did they get the Royal Philharmonic to score this movie? Screenplay by Ron Gantman. He was one eye away from having a really cool last name. And directed by J.P. Simone. I haven't seen his whole filmography, but I've seen pieces. With the credits over, we head for the Myers house. But before we go in, we stop for a drink. What the hell? How's this not J&B? Charles Bukowski here heads inside to find a pile of mail. Past due, final notice. Hey, Ed McMahon says I may be a winner. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Not gonna lie, this dump is surprisingly clean for being the dilapidated home of a barely functioning alcoholic. Damn, we're out of booze again? Oh, I take it back. He's got slugs. Or maybe it's the DTs. No! No! I mean, who can really say when the lighting is this bad? Guess we'll have to wait to find out because we're jumping over to this swank 80s nightclub. I bet this place was called Secrets or Shenanigans or something equally stupid. Captain Buzzkill here is ruining the mood. Come on, Maureen. Slow up a little, eh? What are you, my dad? Surly Elizabeth Shue isn't done, though. Another fun-filled night in Ashton. <laughs> These two are like, oh no, she smashed again. Well, this has been fun. But before they can head out, they run into this mother-son outing. Oh, uh, Don, this is my wife, Kim. Kim, Don. And you must be his mom. Or maybe his nana. Back at home, Mike and the missus are getting ready for some sexy time. Wait, I thought I got to wear the teddy tonight. The romance is cut short, unfortunately. Aw, oh, don't worry, Mike. Premature ejaculation gets the best of us. The next day, Mike heads off to see the sheriff. Man, that is one sweet Chrysler Aries K station wagon. Wonder if he sprung for the limited edition. Oh, and get used to seeing it because it's the JMB whiskey of slugs. He parks that bad boy, heads inside, and. Morning, Mr. Brady. Good morning, Dob. Wait a minute, is his name Mike Brady? Is this what he did before he married Carol and adopted her three daughters? Holy shit, Slugs is a Brady Bunch prequel. Or maybe it's a weird Hill Street Blues spinoff judging by this terrible theme music. Oh yeah, this has terrible buddy cop sitcom written all over it. Today's your lucky day, Brady. Oh really? Why is that? Littering's a $500 fine in this state. Don't let me catch you doing it again. Seriously, what the hell is with this music? I know they got the Philharmonic, but did they just pay for a budget pack of random outtakes? This sounds like the generic music you'd hear on an NFL Films production in the 1970s. Anyway, they head into the Myers house where they find... Yeah, the dead guy. Guess it wasn't the DTs after all. Mike, who's not actually a cop, but a health inspector, investigates because... reasons. So it is true, being an alcoholic really does give you the squirts. Then he finds this. 
Man, looks like someone shot an Annabelle Chong video up in here. Please don't demonetize me over that joke. Guess I better see where this goes. Maybe there's room for one more. With that over, it's time for the sheriff to give us his theory of the crime. So, Sheriff, what do you think? I don't know. Wild dogs, maybe? Raccoons driven out of the hills by the cold? I don't know. My money's on wild dingoes. At any rate, Mike's not buying it. What's your bright idea, Mr. Health Inspector? <laughs> oh, rats, maybe? No Rats? Like the Bruno Mattei movie? And why are they speeding with the sirens on? They're just on their way back to the office. And by office, I mean this swanky 80s kitchen pretending to be an office. Just look at that wallpaper. Then he takes a call from Carol. She needs him to stop by Sam the Butcher's and pick up some steaks on the way home. It'll go great with the escargot. This means it's time for some sweet Aries K driving action. Look at that breaking. Mike's out here to hook up with the Gordon's fishermen for a little field trip to the sewer. You know, there's more methane down there than there is on some of the planets. Mm. But not as much as there is coming from Uranus. Dawn heads down, and I want to say that I have a lot of respect for sewer workers because they go through some real shit. Man, sure hope I don't find any turtles down here. He eventually starts poking around. You really can't trust these pipes. They're full of crap. But hey, he does find steak. Mike may not have to stop on the way home after all. Over at the high school, we're enjoying this dramatic reenactment of Rebel Without a Clue starring Budget Billy from Stranger Things. From there, we jump to this totally meaningless subplot about 30-something-year-old kids planning a Halloween party. I don't think this part of the score was provided by the Philharmonic. Sounds more like a bargain bin go-go's. We head inside and we get a Yaramir Yager sighting. That's a sweet ape drape, Yogs. And if you were wondering what Surly Elizabeth Shoe is up to, I'll give you one hint. It's drinking. Well, technically, it's only 9 a.m., but it's after 5 somewhere. And over in yet another movie, we're about to be treated to a sequence I like to think of as a series of unfortunate events. Grandpa's working on his grow house. This is my 401k, baby, and the K stands for Kush. Unfortunately for him, he's got slugs in his glove, and that calls for extreme measures. I know when I get my hand stuck in a glove, my first course of action is to basically pulverize it by beating it on things. Well, shit, that didn't work. Time for the shears. I'll show you who's boss. But then it turns into one of those life alert commercials. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Meanwhile, his wife's inside shining this pole. Hell yeah. No, not like that, you pervs. She's really cleaning this railing. Back outside, Uncle Herb is taking some extreme measures. All right, hand, I've hatchet with you. Then stuff catches on fire and the whole place explodes. <laughs> Man, this is the weirdest Final Destination spin-off ever. And back to the Ares K. The sky blue color really accentuates this beauty's boxy appeal. Then he checks in with the wife, and she's got news. Did you hear about Harold and Jean Morris? Nope. Why? They're dead. I love how she delivers that line. All that's missing is the Nelson Munn's haha at the end. Mike's not too broken up about it either, because next thing you know, he's talking about slime trails. You see these slime trails everywhere? Those new houses I was checking out this afternoon were just full of them. Oh man, the neighbor's dog is pooping in our yard again. Then this happens. Ah, that thing bit me! Oh no, now he's gonna turn into a giant slug. Hey, wasn't that a Kafka story? And back to the Aries K. Just look at how it handles. Mike and his wife drop off the carnivorous slug with Budget Willie for mouth, who's sure to get to the bottom of things. Do you kids even remember Alf? Christ, I'm old. We haven't had anyone die in a while, but things are about to pick up as Budget Robert Plant and his 30-something teenage girlfriend get busy. You could say he's gonna give her a whole lot of love. Too bad they're not alone. And can no one hit the toilet in this movie? She gets up at some point and slips in this pile of slugs. <laughs> what a way to escargot. And Robert Plant is right behind her. Say what you will about these creatures, but they're certainly not sluggish when it's time to kill. Mike, meanwhile, is thinking really hard about how to solve this slug problem. Luckily, his wife is here to provide the answer. Why don't you try salt? Hey, no, really, that's a good idea. Here. Is he being patronizing, or did he really not think of salt on his own? And here comes the Aries K wagon. You'll never feel sluggish thanks to the 93 horses under the hood of this sleek driving machine. Turns out Mike's not here on official health inspector business, he just needed to use the can. And we're back to the buddy cop sitcom. Mike offers up this gem. Now maybe, 
Just maybe we're dealing with a, a mutant form of slug here, a, a kind that eats meat. The sheriff's like, are you high, boy? Because you sound high. And another scene in the Ares K wagon. Don't worry about all that horsepower, because the Ares K comes with brakes standard. How did this car not get a star in credit? It's in more scenes than half the cast. Inside, he's got an important call from Dawn. I've got some stuff over here at the office that you're going to be interested in. What kind of things? Oh, you know, things like some fake wood panels for an Ares K wagon. Dawn's big reveal is, wait for it, that the toxic waste is causing the slugs to mutate. That this entire area from the edge of Ron Bell's property line to the town limits was a toxic waste dump. It's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, only with slugs and less martial arts. Meanwhile, over here at Olive Garden, Surly Elizabeth Shue's husband is closing the big deal over endless soup and salad. Things are going great, but then this happens. Sorry, excuse me, irritable bowel syndrome acting up again. This is how I look after eating gas station sushi. But luckily, he's all better. Woo, that was a load. I'd not go in there for a good 35 to 45 minutes, though. Turns out, he's not all better. Cheers. Whoa. Um, this is not how you make a Bloody Mary. Now it's like that scene in Freddy Got Fingered. 50 million Deutschmarks, Bob! Also, I love Freddy Got Fingered. Needless to say, he's not going on a tour of Italy, but he will be getting a tour of the morgue later. And here's the Ares K. When you need to make an entrance, the stylish Ares K wagon has you covered. After a lot of jibber-jabber, they go back to see Scientist Willie for some exposition. Schistosomes are blood flukes, a particularly virulent strain of parasite found in the blood streams of, of slugs. So wait, this movie is called Slugs, and slugs are the monsters, but this dude died from fluke worms? Come on, movie. And we get this key bit of plot development. Speaking of which, where do they breed? Well, anywhere it is dark and moist. He means your mom, Don. Mike has an emergency at home, so you guessed it, he hops in the Ares K wagon. The Ares K wagon is roomy enough for hauling the kids and groceries, but reliable enough to get you home when your wife is having a freakout session. So, what's the emergency? Slugs in the sink. Honey, you can't call me home in the middle of the day to kill bugs. I don't know what's getting panned harder today, these slugs or this movie. Mike's had enough, so he's off to see Frank Brana. You may remember Frank here from his role as Detective Mike Pence in Pieces. This dude really does look like the love child of Race Bannon and Leslie Nielsen. Sounds like Nielsen too. Hold on. Mutated slugs? Contaminated water system? See? You ain't got the authority to declare happy birthday! And don't call me Shirley. With that meeting a dead end, Mike escalates his complaint to the mayor. He sure is putting a lot of miles on the old Aries K wagon this week. He barges in unannounced, of course. I'm tired of things moving at a snail's pace around here. Who the hell do you think you are to burst in here like this? I'm the health inspector. Back at Frank's place, he's dead. Poor Frank. He died as he lived. On the can. Over at the lab, Willie's come up with something to kill the slugs. But now they need to get them all in one place. But to get all of them in one place at the same time... That's quite something else. You know what that means, to the Ares K wagon. This thing really is like a totally uncool Batmobile. He meets Dawn, who's like, come on in, my mom's making dinner. Maybe you can stay over. Um, why does Dawn's jersey have a 42 on the front and a 53 on the back? This is gonna keep me awake tonight. Mike lays out the plan and Dawn says what we're all thinking. You wanna take something that explodes when it comes in contact with water down into the sewer. Mm -hmm. But he comes around on it pretty quickly because we only have like 20 minutes left in the movie. Well, let's get started, partner. But before he can go, he has to tell his mom. When I do get back, how about if we get naked and get crazy? Oh, whoa, come on. Back at the house, Mike finds out he needs to fire his exterminator. Damn it, we've got slugs everywhere. That or there's a homeless guy using the basement as a toilet. And then he takes off in the Ares K wagon. When you need to save the town from mutant slugs, you can count on the Ares K to deliver. With spacious three-row seating and plenty of cargo storage, you'll be prepared for anything. Hey, remember those kids playing on the Halloween party? Yeah, they're still in this movie. J.P. Simone needed to pad the runtime a bit, so we're going there before the rousing climax. Here, Danny LaRusso and Allie Mills are having a spat. What's the use? All you want to do is play mind games. Well, count me out. Fine. See, you should have stayed with Johnny, Allie. She takes off and gets attacked by the skull mask dude from Headless. Because sure, why not? And then she gets eaten by slugs. Yeah, I'm glad we sidetracked the movie for this. Back in the sewer, Walter and Jesse get ready to cook. 
So, let me just see if I understand this. The master plan here is to A, use an open flame in a sewer filled with explosive gases, and B, drop a live electric line into water. Seems legit to me. I mean, what could go wrong? Even the slugs find this plan shocking. Well, they're trying to get back to the surface, old Noodle Arms here is trying to open the manhole cover and failing miserably. Dude needs to curl more. Back in the sewer, Mike and Dawn are trying to escape the slugs. Foley. Foley, come in, this is Mike. We found their main breeding ground. Um, I think we took a wrong turn and wandered into the descent. Eventually, Dawn winds up in the water. Tell my mom I love her! At any rate, Mike's too late. Dawn's going to pieces. Oh, oh, no! Mike makes it out and they set the plan in motion. And I'm not sure they thought this through. They just blew up half the town. Are we sure just dumping a bunch of rock salt into the sewer wouldn't have worked with less damage? Well, I think that could have gone worse. And then the rest of the cops and Mike's wife show up. Mike! Damn! Why does this feel like the end of Die Hard? If this is Halloween, I can't wait to see what they do for Thanksgiving. Come on, honey. Let's go home and make a baby Greg Brady. And again, what the hell is up with this music? And I feel a stinger ending coming. Yeah, snailed it. Slugs may not be anyone's favorite killer bug movie, but it is pretty entertaining almost in spite of itself. And let's face it, it's practically a 90 minute long promo reel for the Chrysler Ares K wagon. I bet sales spiked after this movie came out. But is Slugs gory enough to earn the coveted 5 barf bag rating? Let's go to the gore card! In terms of gross anatomy, Slugs is a lot gooier than you'd expect. We're treated to multiple flayed corpses, the hilarious grow house hand amputation, one devoured dawn, and some other odds and ends. The special effects work here is pretty solid, and it's good enough to earn Slugs a 3 barf bag rating. This is a modestly sick little flick. Looking for another movie where murderous Slugs get screen time? Then be sure to check out my review of Enigma. You'll find the link here on the screen after my outtakes. I'll meet you over there. Until next time, I'm Mike Bracken, aka The Horror Geek, bringing you all the splatter that matters. <laughs> Undaunted, she's taking her clothes off. And he's appearing. Still have my Canadian accent turned on from the Things video. Seriously, what the hell is with this music? I know they got the Philharmonic, but did they just pay for a budget pack of. Oh my god, I cannot read. Another long sentence. I just never learn. She needs him to. Ooh. And over in yet another movie, we're about to be treated to a sequence I like to think of as I can't read. I write these videos, I practice reading them, and then every time the camera's on, it's like it's the first time I've ever seen it. Well, yeah, there's more methane down there than on some planets, but not as much as is coming. Oh, fuck. Ruining my own jokes. Mike and his wife. Ooh. Is he being paid? Ooh, man. Ooh, ooh. Boy, that voice is bad. You'll never feel sluggish thanks to the 90. <coughs> <laughs> and here comes the Aries K wagon. You'll never feel sluggish thanks to the not to the to the, to the, 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 the I can't do these things on video and yet you people think I could do them live. That toxic slugs are caught. Oh god, damn it. Who writes this crap? JP Sapone, the uh, Sapone. JP Sapone. Come on, man. Just read the words. With that meeting a dead end, mice bleh. Mice. Mice escalates. Mice. Teleprompter, you're killing me today. Focus. Focus.